biggest frustrations in nutrition and the health field is the fact that people are advocating for the paleo diet, calling it healthy, calling it the way that humans have been eating for thousands of years and they couldn't be any more wrong. I've done a video before where I've talked about the evolutionary diet featuring Dr. Douglas Lyle, author of The Pleasure Trap, and I wanted to show you guys a clip of this lecture by John McDougall. It's called The Starch Solution, just like his book, The Starch Solution by John McDougall. You can YouTube it or I have the link to the full lecture down below. Check out this clip. I want you to notice something here. <clears throat> there are six, six fuels of human civilization. There are six foods that have fueled the development of civilization. Civilization, that's what we have, civilization. Uh, primitive people, primitive people are hunter-gatherers. Hunter uh, that's all they do is just hunt and gather. That's all, I mean, they have to spend their whole day hunting and gathering. They don't have time for any, other things that civilized people do, like music and art. They don't have time. All they're doing is just hunt and gather, and maybe some evening they have time to draw a little stick drawing on the cave. That's it. <clears throat> so as uh, people became more, more uh, uh, smarter, more able to control the environment, they would pick some uh, particular plants that they liked and were easy to grow, and they started growing these plants uh, near, their, near where they lived, and uh, they got more efficient at getting fuel. And so now not everybody had to hunt and gather. Now some people, because they made more food than one person could eat, they were able to get more food than one person could eat. Some people could do other things, like they could become soldiers and teachers and uh, part of the government and artists and so on. And as people become more efficient, more pe less people had to be dedicated to gathering calories and more people could do other things. And then it got to the point where they became so efficient that they could take some of that plant food and they could feed it to animals and they could eat the animals. And those were the kings and queens that did that back in the old days. And then around 150 years ago, uh, we became so good at this with the Industrial Revolution and with the, uh, the harnessing of fossil fuel that we really were able to just produce so much food and uh, a large part of the population got to be other things besides hunter and gatherers. And now we're at a point in civilization, this is civilization, we're at a point where one person sitting on a tractor can make enough food for 3,000 people, which leaves 2,999 of us to do something else, which I bet that's everybody in this room. That's civilization. So there you go, the six caloric engines of human civilization, barley, corn, millet, potatoes, rice, wheat. Notice five of those are grains, which many of the paleo people out there, the promoters of high meat diets, the promoters of low carb diets, all say grains are bad for you. You should stay away from grains. They cause metabolic damage. They cause weight gain. They cause diabetes. They cause all this nonsense. It is nonsense, really. It is because they don't know what they're talking about. Human civilization has been eating <laughs> pretty much a predominantly grain-based diet with the addition of fruits and vegetables for thousands of years. And again, notice, two of those grains are gluten-containing grains, barley and wheat. And so many people have a problem against gluten. Now, I'm not doubting that people have legitimate issues with gluten and, and wheat. Um, in fact, celiac disease is a real disease, but it only accounts for around 1% of the population. So why are people making such a big deal out of gluten, grains, carbohydrates, plant-based foods? It's the way human civilization has been eating for thousands and thousands of years. Before civilization, when fire was discovered, human beings were starting to cook mainly root vegetables. They started to eat root vegetables and they hunted out of necessity, out of survival purposes. Once civilization was established, human beings were able to, to basically cultivate plants, start gardens and farms, and, and be able to produce these plant-based foods in larger quantities to feed their villages, to feed their civilization. And this allowed people to do other stuff than having to worry every second where your next meal is going to come from. People started to practice art, one of the most beautiful things in life. You know, whether it's music, whether it's dancing, drawing, theater, that is the beauty of life. And it was only possible when we started to eat these high caloric plant-based foods. Only the aristocrats, only the 
high society, the, the rich were able to eat meat because they could afford it. They demanded it and they were the ones that were sick and, and full of diseases. I mean, you look at the mummies in ancient Egypt. They were the, they were the kings and queens, basically. They were the, the pharaohs and they were the ones eating meat and dairy. And you go and look at these mummies today, you scan their bodies, you'll find <laughs> you will find clogged up arteries. And the people, the low class, the poor people, could only afford the the, the cheap plant-based foods, the healthy, low-fat plant-based foods like wheat. Wheat was so popular in the example of Egypt. So people would eat lots of wheat and they would actually stay healthy because they couldn't afford the meat, dairy, eggs, and, and all the other crap. And this could be seen in all successful civilizations. All of the successful, healthy civilizations, not the Eskimos, okay? When you're talking about the Eskimos living an age, uh, an average age of what, 27 years? Somewhere around there, definitely. It, you know, why would you want to live like that? Eating uh, whale blubber and other animals your whole life and to only live <laughs> at the age of 27 to have high rates of osteoporosis and heart disease live like the successful civilizations that ate a predominantly plant-based diet that ate potatoes rice corn quinoa wheat barley millet okay these were the successful civilizations so next time someone tells you to eat a, a paleo diet to eat like your ancestors show them this video Okay, stop eating like cavemen, start eating like a civilization. Stop eating like you're trying to survive, eat like you want to thrive. So there you go, the six caloric engines of human civilization. Give this video a like if you found it useful, subscribe for more vegan videos and lifestyle tips, and post any comments and questions you have down below in the comment section, and we will see you guys next time.